Mindanao listen, or still commonly known as Southern Philippines, is the second largest island in the Philippines. Mindanao and the smaller islands surrounding it make up the island group of the same name. Located in the southern region of the archipelago, as of the 2010 census, the main island was inhabited by 20,281,545 people, while the entire Mindanao Island group had an estimated total of 25,537,691 residents. According to the 2015 Philippine Population Census, Davao City is the most populous city on the island, with a population of 1,632,991 residents, followed by Zamboanga City population Cagayan de Oro City Pop. 675,950, General Santos City Pop. 594446 and Iligan City population 342618 about 70% of residents identify as christian and 20% identify as muslim Mindanao is divided into six regions, the Zamboanga Peninsula, Northern Mindanao, the Caraga region, the Davao region, Soccsksargen, and the Autonomous Region in Muslim Mindanao Native ethnic groups in Mindanao include the Lumads namely the Sabanans of the Zamboanga Peninsula, the Bukidnon, the Ata Manabos, the Mamanwas, the Madagsalugs, the Agusan Manabos, the Talandigs, the Kamigans, and the Higonans of northern Mindanao and the region of Caraga, the Tibulas, the Tirures, the Balans, the Sarangani, and the Cotabato Manabos of the region of Soccsksargen, and the Obo, the Mandayas, the Jongans, the Tagabawas, the Caligans, the Sangaris, and the Mansaka of the Region and the Moros, namely the Maguindanos, the Maranaos, the Tausugs, the Yakins, the Iranans, and the Sama, mainly concentrated within the autonomous region in Muslim Mindanao. ARMM. Joining them are the equally indigenous Butuanans and the Suriganans of the Caraga region, as well as the Zamboangueños of the eponymous peninsula, along with descendants of settlers from the Visayas and Luzon, chiefly from the former, among them the Cebuanos and the Hiligaynans. Mindanao is considered the major breadbasket of the Philippines, with eight of the top ten agri commodities exported from the Philippines coming from the island group itself. Mindanao is known for its moniker being the Philippines' land of promise. Topic: Culture. The majority of the island's inhabitants are descendants of Indonesians, Malaysians, Indians, Arabs, Chinese, Koreans, Japanese, Europeans and Americans. An American census conducted in the early 1900s noted that the island was inhabited by people greatly divided in origin, temperament and religion. Evidence of the island's cultural diversity can be seen in the buildings and ruins of old Spanish settlements in the northwestern peninsula that span eastwards to the southern Gulf Coast, the site of the ancient Rajanate of Butuan in the northeast region Caraga, the Sultanates in the southwest Sultanate of Sulu, Sultanate of Lanao, Sultanate of Maguindano, a number of Buddhist and Taoist temples, and the numerous indigenous tribes. Today around 25.8% of the household population in Mindanao classified themselves as Cebuanos. Other ethnic groups included Bisaya, Binasaya 18.4%, Hiligaynon, Alongo 8.2%, Maguindanon 5.5%, and Maranao 5.4%. The remaining 36.6% belonged to other ethnic groups. Cebuano registered the highest proportion of ethnic group in northern Mindanao and Davao region with 35.59% and 37.76%, respectively. In Soccsksargen, it was Hiligaynon, Alongo 31.58%, Binasaya, Bisaya 33.10% in Zamboanga Peninsula, Maranao 26.40% in ARMM, and Suriganan 25.67% in Caraga. Topic. Languages Over dozens of languages are spoken in Mindanao, among them, Cebuano, Hiligaynon, Suriganan, Tausug, Maranao, Maguindano, and Chavacano are most widely spoken. 
Of the seven aforementioned regional languages, Cebuano has the highest number of speakers, being spoken throughout northern Mindanao except the southern parts of Lanao del Norte, the Davao region, the western half of the Caraga region as well as the city of Bislig and the municipalities surrounding it in Surigao del Sur, the entirety of the Zamboanga Peninsula with the exception of Zamboanga City, and southern Socskasargen. Hiligaynon is the main language of Socskasargen, where majority of the inhabitants are of ethnic Hiligaynon stock. Suriganan is spoken in the eastern half of the Caraga region, mainly by the eponymous Suriganans. Tausug is widely spoken in the western territories of the ARMM, specifically the Sulu archipelago, which comprises the provinces of Basilan, Sulu, and Tawi Tawi, with a sizable community of speakers residing in Zamboanga City. Maguindano and Maranao are the dominant languages of the eastern territories of the ARMM, respectively with the former being spoken in Lanao del Sur as well as the southern areas of Lanao del Norte, and the latter in the eponymous province of Maguindano and also in adjacent areas which are part of Socskasargen. Chavacano is the native language of Zamboanga City and is also the lingua franca of Basilan. It is also spoken in the southernmost fringes of Zamboanga Sibugay. It is also spoken, albeit as a minority language, in Cotabato City and Davao City, where dialects of it respectively exist, namely Cotabatan and Castellano Abaque, both of which evolved from the variant of the language spoken in Zamboanga City. English is also widely understood and spoken, being highly utilized in business and academia. Religion Christianity is the dominant religious affiliation in Mindanao with 60.9% of the household population, majority of which are adherents of Roman Catholicism, Islam comprised 20.44%, and other religions were Evangelical 5.34%, Aglipayan 2.16%, Iglesia ni Cristo 1.66%. History Prehistory Archaeological findings on the island point to evidence of human activity dating back to about 10,000 years ago. At around 1500 BC Austronesian people spread throughout the Philippines. The Subanan are believed to have established themselves on Mindanao Island during the Neolithic era, or New Stone Age, the period in the development of human technology beginning around 10,000 BC according to the Aspro chronology between 4,500 and 2,000 BC. The evidence of old stone tools in Zamboanga del Norte may indicate a late Neolithic presence. Ceramic burial jars, both unglazed and glazed, as well as Chinese celadons, have been found in caves, together with shell bracelets, beads, and gold ornaments. Many of the ceramic objects are from the Yuan and Ming periods. Evidently, there was a long history of trade between the Subanan and the Chinese long before the latter's contact with Islam. <laughs> Rajanates and Hindu Buddhism In the classic epic of Philippine history 900 AD onwards, the people of Mindanao were heavily exposed to Hindu and Buddhist influence and beliefs from Indonesia and Malaysia. Indianized Abugida scripts such as Kawi and Baybayan was introduced via Sulawesi and Java, and the cultural icons of the sarong known as Malang or Padadiang, the Pudong turban, silk, and batik and ikat weaving and dyeing methods were introduced. Artifacts found from this era include the Golden Kanara, Golden Terra, and the Ganesh Pendant. These cultural traits passed from Mindanao into the Visayas and Luzon, but were subsequently lost or heavily modified after the Spanish arrival in the 16th century. The Hindu-Buddhist cultural revolution was strongest in the coastal areas of the island, but were incorporated into local animist beliefs and customs tribes that resided more inland. The Rajanate of Butuan, a fully Hindu kingdom mentioned in Chinese records as a tributary state in the 10th century AD, was concentrated along the northeastern coast of the island around Butuan. The Darangan epic of the Maranao people harkens back to this era as the most complete local version of the Ramayana. The Maguindano at this time also had strong Hindu beliefs, evidenced by the Ladya Lawana Raja Ravana epic saga that survives to the modern day, albeit highly Islamized from the 17th century onwards. Sultanates and Islam 
The spread of Islam in the Philippines began in the 14th century, mostly by Muslim merchants from the western part of the Malay archipelago. The first mosque in the Philippines was built in the mid-14th century in the town of Simonal. Around the 16th century, Muslim sultanates, Sulu, Lanao and Maguindano were established from formerly Hindu-Buddhist Rajanates. As Islam gained a foothold over most of Mindanao, the natives residing within the sultanates were either converted into Islam or obligated to pay tribute to their new Muslim rulers. The largest of the Muslim settlements was the sultanate named after the Maguindanaoans. Maps made during the 17th and 18th centuries suggest that the name Mindanao was used by the natives to refer to the island. By then, Islam was well established in Mindanao and had influenced groups on other islands to the north. Topic: <laughs> Spanish colonization and Christianity. On February 2, 1543, Ruy López de Villalobos was the first Spaniard to reach Mindanao. He called the island. Caesarea Caroli, after Charles V of the Holy Roman Empire and I of Spain. Shortly after Spain's colonization of Cebu, they moved on to colonize Butuan and the surrounding Caraga region in northeast Mindanao and discovered significant Muslim presence on the island. Over time a number of tribes in Mindanao converted to Roman Catholicism and built settlements and forts throughout the coastal regions of the island. These settlements endured despite incurring attacks from neighboring Muslim sultanates. The most heavily fortified of these settlements, apart from a short period in 1662 when Spain sent soldiers from the city to Manila after receiving a threat of invasion from the Chinese general Kauzinga, was Zamboanga City. By the late 18th century, Spain had geographic dominance over the island, having established settlements and forts in most of Mindanao, including Zamboanga City, which was then settled by Peruvian soldiers, and Misamis Occidental to the northwest, Iligan City, Misamis Oriental, Bukidnon, and Come Again Island. Island to the north, Butuan and the Caraga region to the east, and Davao in the island's Gulf Coast. Spain continued to engage in battles with Muslim sultanates until the end of the 19th century. <laughs> American occupation In the Treaty of Paris in 1898 Spain sold the entire Philippine archipelago to the United States for $20 million. The 1900 Treaty of Washington and the 1930 Convention between the United States and Great Britain clarified the borders between Mindanao and Borneo. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Philippine Commonwealth. In 1939, the Philippine government encouraged citizens from Luzon and Visayas to migrate to Mindanao, consisting mostly of Ilocanos, Cebuanos, and Ilongos. Filipino settlers streaming into Soxsargon led to the displacement of the Blon and T. Boli tribes. <inaudible> <inaudible> World War II Davao City was among the earliest to be occupied by the invading Japanese forces, and they immediately fortified the city as a bastion of the Japanese defense system. It was subjected by the returning forces of Gen. MacArthur to constant bombing, before the American Liberation Forces landed in Leyte in October 1944. In April 1942 Mindanao, along with the rest of the Philippines, officially entered World War II after Japanese soldiers invaded key cities in the islands. Many towns and cities were burned to the ground in Mindanao, most notably Davao City, Zamboanga City, Lanao, Cagayan de Oro, Iligan City, and Butuan. In the months of April and May 1942, Japanese forces defeated U.S. troops commanded by Gen. William F. Sharp and Gen. Guy O. Fort, in a battle that started at Malabang a town close to Gandamatu Makadar, Lanao and ended close to the town of Ganassi, Lanao. Filipino soldiers and local guerrilla fighters were actively fighting Japanese forces until liberation at the conclusion of the Battle of Mindanao. Recent conflicts Violent conflicts in the southwestern regions of Mindanao, that began in the 1960s, led to the 1971 Manili Massacre, Pata Island Massacre, the founding of the Moro National Liberation Front MNLF, Moro Islamic Liberation Front MILF, and the formation of the Alaga. Under President Ferdinand Marcos's administration, the government was said to have encouraged Christian settlers in Mindanao, causing many locals to be displaced. 
It is believed that ancestral land reclamation by their original owners, forcibly taken from them by Luzon and Visayan settlers, is the main source of conflict in the region. In March 2000 President Estrada declared an all-out war against the Moro Islamic Liberation Front MILF, after the militant group committed a series of terrorist attacks on government buildings, civilians, and foreigners. A number of livelihood intervention projects, from organizations such as USAID and the Emergency Livelihood Assistance Program ELAP, aided in the reconstruction of areas affected by constant battles on the island. In December 2009, President Gloria Macapagal Arroyo officially placed Maguindano under a state of martial law following the Maguindano Massacre. In May 2017, President Rodrigo Duterte declared martial law on the entire island group of Mindanao following the Marawi siege by the Mount terrorist group. Thousands of civilians were killed by the terrorist group during the siege, and more than 180,000 people were forced to evacuate Marawi City. <laughs> Typhoon Sendong Tropical Storm Sendong international name, Washi, made landfall on December 15, 2011 in Mindanao. The recorded 24-hour rainfall in Lumbia station of Pagasa reached 180.9 mm causing the overflow of the Cagayan de Oro River. The deadly storm killed 1,268 people with 49 others listed as missing. Most of the casualties were from the cities of Cagayan de Oro and Iligan. Those who survived were rendered homeless, seeking shelter in evacuation centers. Economy Mindanao's economy accounts for 14% of the country's gross domestic product. The region grew 4.9% in 2016 against Luzon's 5.5% and Visayas 9.1%. Agriculture, forestry and fishing make up more than 40% of Mindanao's market, being the country's largest supplier of major crops such as pineapples and bananas. There are two defined growth corridors in the island namely Metro Davao and Metro CDO. Other regional centers are, Zamboanga City, General Santos City, Butuan City, Cotabato City, Dipalig City, Jolo, Surigao City, Pagadian City, Coronado City, and Tagum City, being the top performing economy in Mindanao. Davao region has the fifth biggest economy in the country and the second fastest growing economy next to Cordillera Autonomous Region. While the region's economy is predominantly agri-based, it is now developing into a center for agro-industrial business, trade and tourism. Its competitive advantage is in agri-industry as its products, papayas, mangoes, bananas, pineapples, fresh asparagus, flowers, and fish products are exported internationally. The region can be a vital link to markets in other parts of Mindanao, Brunei Darussalam and parts of Malaysia and Indonesia. There is also a growing call center sector in the region, mostly centered in Davao City. Topic. Upcoming developments. Some 2,130 government-led infrastructure projects worth P547.9 billion have also been lined up for Mindanao until 2022. NETA official said that 68% of that budget will be allotted for the transportation sector, while 16% will go to water resources, and 6% to social infrastructure. Of this amount, 18 infrastructure projects have been identified as flagship projects, five of them have already been approved by President Rodrigo R. Duterte. The projects include the P35.26 billion Tagum Davao Digos segment of the Mindanao Railway, the P40.57 billion Davao Airport, the P14.62 billion Laguindangan Airport, the P4.86 billion Pangui Bay Bridge Project, and the P5.44 billion Malatubog Maridago Irrigation Project, Phase 2. Projects in the pipeline are the second and third phases of the Mindanao Railway, the Agus Palangi Plant Rehabilitation, the Davao Expressway, the Zamboanga Fish Port Complex Rehabilitation, the Balo I Plains Flood Control Project, Aspang Small Reservoir Irrigation Project, the Ambal Sime Sub Basin of the Mindanao River Basin Flood Control and River Protection Project, as well as the Road Network Development Project in Conflict Affected Areas in Mindanao Project. Administrative divisions 
The island consists of six administrative regions, 22 provinces, and 30 cities 27 provinces and 33 cities if associated islands are included. Geography <inaudible> 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 Mindanao is the second largest island in the Philippines at 97,530 square kilometers, and is the eighth most populous island in the world. The island of Mindanao is larger than 125 countries worldwide, including the Netherlands, South Korea, Austria, Portugal, Czech Republic, Hungary, and Ireland. The island is mountainous, and is home to Mount Apo, the highest mountain in the country. Mindanao is surrounded by four seas, the Sulu Sea to the west, the Philippine Sea to the east, and the Celebes Sea to the south, and the Mindanao Sea to the north. Of all the islands of the Philippines, Mindanao shows the greatest variety of physiographic development. High, rugged, faulted mountains, almost isolated volcanic peaks, high rolling plateaus, and broad, level, swampy plains are found there. The Mindanao Island Group is an arbitrary grouping of islands in southern Philippines which comprises the Mindanao mainland, the Sulu Archipelago consisting of the islands of Basilan, Sulu, and Tawi-Tawi, and the outlying islands of Cumagan, Dinagat, Siargo, and Samal. <laughs> Mountains The mountains of Mindanao can be grouped into ten ranges, including both complex structural mountains and volcanoes. The structural mountains on the extreme eastern and western portions of the island show broad exposures of Mesozoic rock, and ultrabasic rocks at the surface in many places along the east coast. Other parts of the island consist mainly of Cenozoic and Quaternary volcanic or sedimentary rocks. In the eastern portion of the island, from Billas Point in Surigao del Norte to Cape San Agustin in Davao Oriental, is a range of complex mountains known in their northern portion as the Dawada Mountains. This range is low and rolling in its central portion. A proposed road connecting Bislig on the east coast with the Agusan River would pass through 16 kilometers (9.9 .9 miles) of broad saddle across the mountains at a maximum elevation of less than 250 meters (820 feet), while the existing east-west road from Lianga, 48 kilometers (30 miles) north of Bislig, reaches a maximum elevation of only 450 meters (1,480 feet). The Dawada Mountains, north of these low points, are considerably higher and more rugged, reaching an elevation of 2,012 meters feet in Mount Halong Halong, 17 miles 27 kilometers along the eastern portion of Kabadbaran City. The southern portion of this range is broader and even more rugged than the northern section. In Davao Oriental, several peaks rise above 2,600 meters (8,500 feet), and one mountain rises to 2,910 meters (9,550 feet). The east-facing coastal regions of Davao and Surigao del Sur are marked by a series of small coastal lowlands separated from each other by rugged forelands which extend to the water's edge. Offshore are numerous coral reefs and tiny islets. This remote and forbidding coast is made doubly difficult to access during the months from October to March by the heavy surf driven before the northeast trade winds. A few miles offshore is found the Philippine Deep. This ocean trench, reaching measured depths of 34,696 feet 10,575 meters, is the third deepest trench, after the Mariana Trench and Tonga Trench on the Earth's surface. A second north-south mountain range extends from Talisayan in the north, to Tanaka Point in the southernmost point of Mindanao. This mountain range runs along the western borders of the Agusan del Norte, Agusan del Sur, and Davao provinces. This range is mainly structural in origin, but it also contains at least three active volcano peaks. The central and northern portions of this range contain several peaks between 2,000 and 2,600 meters (6,600 and 8,500 feet), and here the belt of mountains is about 30 miles (48 kilometers) across. West of Davao City stand two inactive volcanoes: Mount Talomo at 2,893 meters (9,491 feet) and Mount Apo at 2,964 meters (9,724 feet). Mount Apo is the highest point in the Philippines. South of Mount Apo, this central mountain belt is somewhat lower than it is to the north, with peaks averaging only 1,100 to 1,800 meters (3,600 to 5,900 feet). In western Mindanao, a range of complex structural mountains forms the long, hand-like Zamboanga Peninsula. 
These mountains, reaching heights of only 1,200 meters (3,900 feet), are not as high as the other structural belts in Mindanao. There are several places in the Zamboanga Mountains where small intermountain basins have been created, with some potential for future agricultural development. The northeastern end of this range is marked by the twin peaks of the now extinct volcano, Mount Malingdang, that towers over Ozamas City at a height of 2,425 meters feet). Mount Dapia is the highest mountain in the Zamboanga Peninsula, reaching a height of 2,617 meters feet). Batorampan Point is the highest mountain of the southernmost end of the peninsula, reaching a height of only 1,335 meters (4,380 feet). It is located in the boundary of Zamboanga City. A series of volcanic mountains is located within the vicinity of Lake Lanao, forming a broad arc through the Lanao del Sur, Cotabato, and Bukidnon provinces. At least six of the 20 odd peaks in this area are active, and several stand in semi isolation. The Budig Peaks, with their four crater lakes, are easily seen from Cotabato. Mount Regang, an active volcano cone reaching 2,815 meters (9,236 feet), is the most isolated, while the greatest height is reached by Mount Katanglad at 2,889 meters (9,478 feet). In South Cotabato is another range of volcanic mountains, this time paralleling the coast. These mountains have a maximum extent of 110 miles (180 kilometers) from northwest to southeast and measures some 30 miles (48 kilometers) across. One of the well-known mountains here is Mount Parker, whose almost circular crater lake measures a mile and a quarter in diameter and lies 300 meters (980 feet) below its 2,040 meters (6,690 feet) summit. Mount Matutam is a protected area and is considered as one of the major landmarks in the South Cotabato province. Topic: <inaudible> Plateaus. Another important physiographic division of Mindanao is the series of upland plateaus in the Bukidnon and Lanao del Sur provinces. These plateaus are rather extensive and almost surround several volcanoes in this area. The plateaus are made up of basaltic lava flows interbedded with volcanic ash and tuff. Near their edges, the plateaus are cut by deep canyons, and at several points waterfalls drop down to the narrow coastal plain. These falls hold considerable promise for development of hydroelectric energy. Indeed, one such site at Maria Cristina Falls has already become a major producer. The rolling plateaus lie at an elevation averaging 700 meters above sea level, and offer relief from the often oppressive heat of the coastal lowlands. <laughs> Lakes and waterfalls Lake Lanao occupies a large portion of one such plateau in Lanao del Sur. This lake is the largest lake in Mindanao and the second largest in the country. It is roughly triangular in shape with an 18 mile long 29 km base, having a surface at 780 meters above sea level, and is rimmed on the east, south, and west by a series of peaks reaching 2,300 meters. Marawi City, at the northern tip of the lake, is bisected by the Agus River, that feeds the Maria Cristina Falls. Another of Mindanao's waterfall sites is located in Malabang, 15 miles 24 kilometers south of Lake Lanao. Here the Jose Abad Santos Falls present one of the nation's scenic wonders at the gateway to a 200-hectare national park development. The Limonsudan Falls, with an approximate height of 800 feet 240 meters, is the highest waterfall in the Philippines. It is located in Iligan City. Topic. Valleys, rivers, and plains Mindanao contains two large lowland areas in the valleys of the Agusan River in Agusan, and the Rio Grande de Mindanao in Cotabato City. There is some indication that the Agusan Valley occupies a broad syncline between the Central Mountains and the East Coast Mountains. This valley measures 110 miles (180 kilometers) from south to north and varies from 20 to 30 miles (32 to 48 kilometers) in width. 35 miles (56 kilometers) north of the head of Davao Gulf lies the watershed between the Agusan and the tributaries of the Libuganan River, which flows to the Gulf. The elevation of this divide is well under 200 meters (660 feet), indicating the almost continuous nature of the lowland from the Mindanao Sea on the north to the Davao Gulf. 
The Rio Grande de Mindanao and its main tributaries, the Cadison and the Palangi, form a valley with a maximum length of 120 miles and a width which varies from 12 miles at the river mouth to about 60 miles in central Cotabato. The southern extensions of this Cotabato Valley extend uninterrupted across a 350 meters (1150 feet) watershed from Alana Bay on the northwest to Sarangani Bay on the southeast. Other lowlands of a coastal nature are to be found in various parts of Mindanao. Many of these are tiny isolated pockets along the northwest coast of Zamboanga. In other areas such as the Davao Plain, these coastal lowlands are 16 kilometers (9.9 .9 miles) wide and several times in length. From Dipolog City eastward along the northern coast of Mindanao approaching Butuan City extends a rolling coastal plain of varying width. In Misamis Occidental, the now dormant Mount Malingdang has created a lowland averaging 13 kilometers (8.1 miles) in width. Shallow Panquil Bay divides this province from Lanao del Norte, and is bordered by low-lying, poorly drained lowlands and extensive mangroves. In Misamis Oriental, the plain is narrower and in places whittle into rugged capes that reach the sea. East of Cagayan de Oro, a rugged peninsula extends into the Mindanao Sea. Tourism Major tourist spots are scattered throughout Mindanao, consisting mostly of beach resorts, scuba diving resorts, surfing, museums, nature parks, mountain climbing, and river rafting. Siargo, best known for its surfing tower in Cloud 9, also has caves, pools, waterfalls, and lagoons. There are archaeological sites, historical ruins, and museums in Butuan. White Island is a popular tourist spot in Cumagan. The Duca Bay and the Matangale Dive Resorts in Misamis Oriental offer glass-bottomed boat rides and scuba diving lessons. Cagayan de Oro has beach resorts, the Mapawa Nature Park, white water rafting and kayaking, museums, and historical landmarks. Ziplining is the main attraction at the Dahulayan Adventure Park in Bukidnon. Iligan City has the Maria Cristina Falls, Tinago Falls, nature parks, beaches, and historical landmarks. There are parks, historical buildings, the Vinta Ride at Paseo del Mar, boat villages, and the Fort Pilar Museum in Zamboanga City. There are festivals, fireworks, and the Barra's Bird Sanctuary in Takarang City. Davao has Mount Apo, parks, museums, beaches, historical landmarks, and scuba diving resorts. Precautions should be taken when traveling to ARMM and the Zamboanga Peninsula. Pirates, human traffickers, drug cartels, and terrorist groups have been known to abduct, torture, and murder civilians in these regions. The island has the highest crime rate in the country. Topic: <laughs> Energy. Many areas in Mindanao suffer rotating 12-hour blackouts due to the island's woefully inadequate power supply. The island is forecast to continue suffering from a 200-megawatt power deficit until 2015, when the private sector begins to operate new capacity. Aboida's Equity Ventures, a publicly listed holdings company, has committed to supplying 1,200 megawatts through a coal-fired plant on the border of Davao City and Davao del Sur that is slated for operation by 2018. The Agus Palangi hydropower complex, which supplies more than half of Mindanao's power supply, is currently producing only 635 megawatts of its 982 megawatts capacity due to the heavy siltation of the rivers that power the complex. Zamboanga City, an urbanized center in southwest Mindanao, is expected to begin experience daily three-hour brownouts due to the National Power Corporation's decision to reduce power supply in the city by 10 megawatts. The Manila Electric Company Maralca, the largest power distributor in the Philippines, and Global Business Power Corp GBPC, also a major provider, have announced plans to enter Mindanao for the first time to establish solutions for the power problems within the island. See also References Topic. External links Geographic data related to Mindanao at OpenStreetMap Mindanao News Online Mindanao Davao City Official Website Zamboanga City Official Website 
Cagayan de Oro City Official Website Mindanao Development Authority Official Website Autonomous Region in Muslim Mindanao Official Website